Hello and welcome to my today's tutorial. Today I'll be doing an auxiliary and that will be an auxiliary plan of a hexagonal prism. I will start by drawing the plan of the prism. My prism should be should be with a measurement. Okay, I'll I just love to take Three, three cm. Start my prism. Okay. Wow. That's six. So, from this angle. Make sure it's accurate. Okay. You know, put the line up. Okay. So my prism goes like this. So I'll make sure I draw the prism. This this should be the plan of the prism. Okay. Now to draw the prism itself. Okay. With that I said my prism this is six. Okay, but I'll just project this line upwards and also this. Okay, okay. I'll be taking the height of my prison as four centimeter, and this is four centimeter, four centimeters, and I'll cut so what you do next is draw another line this way okay let me show it's prior to this okay and also make sure it's prior to this also okay so let me use my set square okay so now I will number this one to four is one two this three and four okay so 
this is my prism a hexagonal prism of height four centimeter okay now to get the auxiliary plan of this prism have to be using this okay okay to get that I'll just project this point downwards here downwards here also downwards this point that point and uh, that other point okay well so I have to extend this so that I won't draw that on the plan and I'll wipe this off Okay. I'm gonna extend this line. Okay. Having done that, I have to cut this at an angle. Let me say ninety degrees to like this. Cut it somewhere here. Okay. That's where I cut it from. So I have to be cleaning this. Okay. So after I've done that, I'll then take the measurements I've cut here using my divider and place it on this line. So I'll be taking one to four. Taking one to four, one to four over here, then I'll be placing it on this point here, okay? So that is one to four, then one to three, that should be one to three, then be taking one to two okay so now I've gotten that I also draw a parallel line draw a parallel line to that 
to those points. That's one. That's two. And that is the third one. Okay. So still number them one, two, three, and four. So now I have done that. I'll take my points now. Okay. So two and three are on this part which is here hope you can see that two and three are on this part two and three and it's on this line too so from there i'll mark them two and three then we also have another two and three I also have another two and three. This other side it is two and three here, yeah. and on this point, so I'll take my points here. Then, of course, the center line here is one and four. It's on this line. Okay, this is four and this one. So, my my points. Then to the top here it's also two and three which is the top this way two and three the same thing this last side and here also okay so that's my point then to get them to one to two two to three three to four okay do the same thing this way also this to this this to this and this to this then the top the top should be visible so I'll also draw that like this okay and the side okay so next I'll draw here I can't see the hidden details I'll draw it draw the hidden line with short dashes you know when drawing you use these short dashes to represent hidden details so that's what I'm doing. Okay. Then this other place. Okay. So So now I'm true. Let's bring out the outline. Outline is always important because it brings out the beauty in your drawing. So start from this.
Okay. So this is how the drawing should look like. You know? So this the auxiliary auxiliary plan of a Hexagonal prism. Okay. So, I'm drawing. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Watch some of my videos. Leave some comments. Maybe next week I'll be expecting another tutorial on how to draw technical drawing or engineering drawing. Hmm. Thanks.